All right, guys. How's it going today, guys? So today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically run an entire level and I'm only gonna do vertical passing plays and vertical run plays from the base playbook. Um, I've had a lot of people that uh, I basically share videos with and stuff and some people are having trouble with vertical, whether it be the reads or, you know, just running. Um, whatever it may be and most of the time it's simply just when you call the plays and why you're calling that play um i try to base my play calling off what i see from the defense and basically if i can tell if i'm being live counted or not so i'm gonna take these are my real level drives and i'm just gonna take them like i would normally take them and uh see how it goes so my first play obviously um base trap plunge uh let's see what we got here toss and these bottom four off limits so i've got a limited playbook so i'm gonna try to run all run plays and see if i can score just using the base run plays that i have but to do this i'm gonna have to use them strategically so what i'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start off with a speed plunge and see what I can do. So in this formation here with plunge, I'm, there's two options. I'm either gonna go up behind uh, this tackle right here or I'm gonna try to bounce it outside. Now, what's gonna tell me that is what this linebacker right here does. Um, if my tackle can get a block on him, I'm gonna run through the line. And if my tight end gets pushed back, I'm not going to go out back behind him and come back up. I'm trying to get positive yards. So let's run it and see what happens. So he didn't. And I just ran forward three yards. I probably could have bounced that one out. But, hey, we're still positive yardage. I'm trying to do all run plays here. So my next play here, uh, it's second and medium. So or that would be second and long. So I'm just gonna run trap and I'm gonna go right up through the middle again that was a five yard gain so third and two now third and two a lot of people you have two options here and it's a double-edged sword because you can try to run like dive I like dive um, just fullback dive but to be safe you want the fullback blocking so I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my dives here just to try to pick up the first down. And there we go, first down. That was an easy first down. Now, why I did that instead of picking the regular fullback dive is because at the same time, I'm still testing out his defense to see what I'm seeing. So I'm gonna go with HB base. I'm gonna try to pick up that block right there, which I do. And I'm not gonna try to do anything fancy. I'm just gonna run for the first down. So here I've used basically three of my best plays so far. And I'm going to go with Toss here just to test Toss against his offense. And doesn't look like it's going to get very much. So second and 11, I'm backed up. What am I going to do now? I'm going to go back to one of these, probably go plunge because I haven't used it in a minute and see if I can break it. So here we go. Decent run, third and six. Normally, I would pass here, but I'm going to run just for the sake of the video and see what I can get. So I'm going to go with trap here and see if I can pick up the first down with trap, and I can't. So it's fourth and four here. Now, just for the sake of not dropping a level drive, I am going to pass here, and I'm going to run X post. Now, this right here, what I'm looking for is I'm looking at the tight end first to see if it's going to be man or zone. And then I'm gonna look for my fullback, McAllister, to see if he comes over. It's man coverage, tight end is wide open. He beats the man coverage every time right there. That's my first read. Second read goes to fullback. If it's covered, then I go to Y coming across on the other side of the field. So now I'm back over, fresh set of drives. I'm just gonna try buck sweep. This used to be a pretty good play that I liked a lot. Um, it's kind of hard now with the speed of the linebackers and the guards not really being able to keep up. 
So I'm gonna use one of these. Uh, I'm gonna use my fullback dive here. Worked out pretty good. So running up the middle. I'm just trying to get positive yards. So I'm gonna go back to base here. Pick up the block and that's a touchdown. So I passed one time uh, and the only reason I even passed that time was because I was trying to run the whole time. Normally on that second down, I wouldn't have. So <clears throat> fairly easy. I know it's a 80 overall defense or whatever. Uh, who do I even play? This dude. So it can be done. You just have to use them strategically and know what downs and that are best. Uh, so this one, I'm going to go with the long pass plays. And I'll mix in some of the base plays from Vert uh, on the next two and pass. So I got my kickoff. So first play, what I want to try to hit is I'm going to go with X post here and why I'm going to do it is because I want to see if he's lined up in man on first down or if it's a zone and it's kind of going to tell me what I can and can't do so it is a zone decent gain there so first down I know I'm facing a zone so I'm going to try to pick a play that you know will basically just tear apart uh, zones so if any of you have been watching you know that mesh switch is basically my favorite play in the game right now so there we go <laughs> and he drops it so I'm at a second and ten now I'm gonna try to go double hinge here and see if I can hit this little corner out not very familiar with this play but I know that the corner out might be there took a big sack so third and 20 and I'm gonna go with I don't want to use my last mess switch. So I'm just going to go with Hail Mary here. Wait until the defense settles. A is open. He got past them. So what you're watching for there in Hail Mary, if they line up in the quarters, if A doesn't get jammed right away, that's where you're going. But you have to wait until he clears that guy and throw over top. So another one that I'm going to do, I'm going to do corners cross. Try to hit that corner out if I can. This looks like it's probably going to be a zone. It's not. Pretty easy read. Hit B underneath. So I think I've used two of those plays. Uh, deep posts here. Don't really like throwing it deep. But my main reads here are Y and A. And I'm basing it off what this linebacker does. If anybody picks up Y, which he does. So I'm just waiting for A to come across the middle and get open. So here we go at the goal line and honestly at the goal line here I would probably normally do X post but I'm just going to do inside cross just because and I'm going to wait and yeah that's the only problem is that they're in goal line here so I'm going to show you X post so here X post you're simply going to step back and tight ends your first read again. Most of the time, they're gonna line up in that goal line formation. If you have to, throw the ball there and it's gonna be wide open. So I'll go back, um, I'll go into some of the other long pass plays that are still there that I haven't done yet. And basically pass all the way down again. So I've done one so far with the run plays and another one with the pass plays. And I'm only using the base playbook. But a lot of times my the first play that I call during a level drive is testing out their defense to see what I can get away with. So I know that he's got zone here. So I'm going to go with Sluggo now. Single high safety. This corner route is going to be open and you can lob over top to B. You have to watch what the defense does. So here X is going to be open, which is where I went. I've ran that play so many times. I knew when the formation came out that it was going to be there. So I'm going to try China Y cop. It has this corner route again. 
this looks to be man and it has the two underneath we'll see how it plays out i think it is yep and there we go i'm off to the races and that's an easy score <clears throat> so i mean pretty easy level drives uh you just have to be smart and oh come on well 22 on the day you have to be smart and kind of try to identify what the defense is trying to do and the biggest piece of advice i can give you is before you snap the ball you need to know what your main read is and where you're going if that isn't there if you don't know those two things and you snap the ball you're already screwing yourself um, especially for level drives and <clears throat> one last thing i'm just going to go into it so um I'm going to show you one thing real quick. I'm just going to play a league member. There's certain plays that I call certain ways, and I flip them certain ways depending on how the play is, and I'll show you why real quick. So I'll just take this kickoff, get tackled. So one of them, for example, is... If you take a look at mess switch, look what all you have going on. You have a tied in go route, which is straight in front of you. So imagine cutting the screen in half. You're either gonna read the left or the right side of the screen. So you want as many possible routes going to whatever side of the screen your first main read is as possible. So right here for mess switch, I have three reads all going to the right. Now. I, the way I read this play is if I know that it's man or zone beforehand, I'll either look to the corner out or the tight end, but the tight end is 80% your first read. Tight end, then at the same time you're reading the tight end, you can see this middle route coming across and you can see the running back if anybody picked him up. So... This right here, I have three reads all going the same way. So I'm going to make my read progressions. Nobody picked up RB. And I literally just, I was looking at the tight end and I could see that nobody came down to pick up RB. And that's seven yards. Did I get, you know, a big 20 yard gain? No, but it's a free seven yards. So another one here would be uh, Sluggo. I have three routes all going to the left. Okay, if I flip it, I can flip it, have them going any way, but there's three of them going to the left. Now here, this should be the single high again. That guy's playing off, so I think they're going to sink back into a zone here. So I still have X, A, and RB in my main read, so let's see what happens here. And that was B over top, just because I knew it was single high. Dagger is another one. You can switch it here, <clears throat> but you still have three going the same. Well, you have two actually, but these two routes are close enough together that you can just stare in the middle of the screen <clears throat> and pick one. And if they're not there, you have the drag route underneath. So here we go. I can see if the drag route's open. And I mean, if they're gonna fade back into a zone and I can take the drag route underneath, that's easy passes all day. So corner cross, you do have three routes going the same way here, but your main, mainly you have two reads. You've got the corner route and the underneath. Uh, strong flood, all of them are going the same way, which is good because you can read that side of the screen and tight end slot cross. The reason why I run it this way is because I run it flip. Now, yes, I have this go route here and then this kind of deep post route over here, but my main read isn't the go route. I'm looking for this drag route and this tight end route, and then I have this middle route underneath. And I know that I can scramble with this play if I need to. So my main read is A, I'm gonna look at R, B, and Y, and since these two come across and they don't collide, I can read it very simply. So, A is there. Super easy read, I could have scrambled out. Again, let's find another one. I'm gonna go into the short passes. So, short passes here. 
ex post I have my two plays but I can read them all going the same way and the same for well I don't want to get into a, a non scheme play but anti cross is the same way I have the two drag routes underneath and if they want to blitz then uh, well I tried to scramble but the drag route was there underneath and I'm gonna go with X post here because I know the reads. I'm gonna see if it's man or not. It's not, it's zone. Take my four yards or whatever it is they're gonna give me. I can go back here. Let's see what I got. Let's go with, um, we're gonna go with mesh. So my main read here is the tight end, but I have the drag route and RB going the same way. So I'm gonna send them in motion, see what happens. It looks to be man. And there we go. You want as many plays going to that direction as you can possibly get to try to counteract <clears throat> what you're doing and to get the most out of it. So as soon as you can identify that and start learning to flip plays and stuff like that, the better player you'll become, I promise. Um, if you guys would like to see anything else uh, having to do with level or OD, just let me know specific plays.